This is Twit. So let's start with the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm going to grab my controller here because hopefully the uh, HDMI gods are shining on us uh, properly today. If uh, we go ahead and switch over to the Xbox One that we have connected here, what we want to kind of show off is how easy it is to uh, actually do game streaming from your Xbox One to a Windows 10 machine. Why would someone want to do this? I think it's a really cool way. It, chances are you have a Windows computer. We understand some people don't. Keep it down. We get it. But Windows 10 being a pretty popular uh, computer, especially or computer system that you could have anywhere in your home on a laptop and so on. Right. So maybe you want to take the gaming power that's already in your Xbox and simply beam it to another room in the house. Uh, and so beaming from a dedicated Xbox to a Windows 10 machine means you don't have to get a whole nother gaming system. You don't necessarily right. have to soup up your uh, Xbox system in order to play games in other rooms. So it's a cool little trick uh, just to get more games uh, in different rooms of your house. Yeah, totally. Not need more than one console. Yeah. Why? When you've got a Windows 10 machine. So if we cut to the Xbox One, you can see I went into the settings, uh, or I'm going into settings rather. Well, remember, uh, let's let's back up because you got to tap that Xbox button. Oh, that's it's, true. There's it's, some, you know, it's it's it, it used to be with Xbox One a real pain in the butt, but now you can just tap that big whoop. Xbox glowing button. There we and go. And at the top, you see that gear. Uh, at the right, so no matter what, you can get to settings by just going all the way Oops. to right in that menu. Here, let me show you one more time because I messed it up. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right, so settings. Right. Uh, then this is going to take us into preferences. What you're looking for is the Xbox app connectivity section. Go ahead and dive into there. And you can see here you're given a couple of different uh, trees, other devices. And what you want in this section, you want to be able to allow connections from any device or from profiles signed on on this or signed into on this Xbox. But I'm going to go ahead and do from any device. And then over in this Xbox area, make sure that allow game streaming to other devices is selected. And then I've done this, and then I, I assume if I go out here, I'm probably going to be... Like, it's already saved yeah. at that point, right? Just instant saved. You're, okay. you're good to go on that end of it. And now All we've right. got a Windows 10 machine. Yeah, so now we got to switch over to the Windows 10. This is actually... The, the laptop that we're using is the Lenovo Legion Y530. I'd say it's kind of a lower... It's probably like a $700... Uh, gaming laptop, yeah, 629 to start, 15 inch uh, display, Core i5, 2.30 gigahertz. Perfectly serviceable, but maybe not going to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Or totally. Like that. Very serviceable for what we're going to show off, yes. and, and probably for basic gaming, mm -hmm. but yeah, you, 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 you know, your mileage may vary. So let's go ahead and, and hop over to the screen there. On my Windows 10 PC, I'm going to launch the Xbox app, which is kind of what you're, you're looking you at here. And if you haven't gotten to the Xbox app, it's actually really easy. There's that bar at the bottom, the Cortana bar. You can just type Xbox, and that app should be the first thing. Boom. You didn't yeah. even have to type all of it. No. So that's a really quick way to get to that app. Right on. Okay, so we're in there. On the left side of the panel, I'm going to search for the Connections tab, which is over right here. <laughs> Go ahead and jump on. And by into the way, there. a tip on that: that hamburger at the top left. If you don't know what those mean, tapping that hamburger brings out the names ah, of them. Ah, very nice. So, so if for any right. reason you forgot, you're not just watching this while doing it. That <laughs> and the hamburger's there for you. <laughs> right. I, I kind of had to know that was there, but the hamburger definitely does help. Hey. So you, you can see right here, it because the Xbox One and the Windows 10 PC are on the same network. It's recognizing the Xbox One on that network, and this is what I want to connect to. And we didn't do anything really crazy. We no. weren't really setting this up and testing it out. That no. is, and if it messes up, that's a result as well. So <laughs> fingers crossed. So I selected the name of the console, waited for it to connect. Uh, from there, I can just go ahead and launch game streaming. I'll go ahead and, and tap the stream. It's going to connect to the Xbox One. Now, what you're going to see is actually the stream there are no controllers. Oh, that's going to stream through from the Xbox One. So what you see looks like the Xbox One, but that's actually coming from the Windows 10 device. It's mm -hmm. streaming through live in real time. Do you want to tap those buttons on the keyboard up, down, left, right, down here? And see if that moves it around? It doesn't look like it is. No. It looks like you're going to need to, to get a controller plugged in. I don't think you're, you're going to want to definitely have a key uh, controller when you are at your house doing this. Oh, because, oh, I see. Because right now this controller is connected to the Xbox One. If this but, was in a different room, it might not connect. And now, the nice thing about that Xbox One controller is that it's got a micro USB port right there, which means you should 
if you know if you've got an Android phone, you've got one of those cords. Boom, plug that in. Yeah. Many Windows machines, not all of them. I don't know about this one. Come with that Xbox controller wireless protocol, okay. so that you can actually sync them up. There's also a dongle you can buy. There are options for using wireless controllers on a Windows 10 machine. So okay. however you want to go about and do that, you've got options. Nice. And then, you know, by default, I, I just load Fortnite because it's the game that I recognize nowadays. And mm -hmm. it's the game that everybody's playing. And it right? runs very it's smoothly. Good. You know what? You might have better luck running it smoothly on yeah. that Xbox machine than Windows 10. So there you go. Yeah. OK. And we actually don't even need to jump into it. But this is just to kind of prove to you that things are streaming through. And if you've got a Windows 10 uh, device hanging around, Hey, you can you can stream your uh, your Xbox One right to it, yeah. and that's native out of the box. The the, the performance nice. is going to vary. If everything is wired, that'll run fastest. If it's not wired, you'll lose a little bit of that twitchiness. Having uh, the Xbox okay. and Windows 10 plugged in via Ethernet is not necessarily convenient, but that will get you a little bit better latency. But for a lot of games, you'll be fine. Yeah, totally. Right on.